talk more about uh, Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. Well, the the um, in the diary, George, um, it, they're sort of a triumvirate: General Joy and General Carl Steiner, who was Army. These were special ops people who mm-hmm. did dirty tricks, and, um, and they were involved in the Waco. Um, dirty tricks, meaning murders, deadly dirty and, tricks. Yeah, yeah. And and Steiner and Joy were involved with the what happened with Noriega, because you know they're booming boom boxes and poisoning. You know, it's just the, the whole rainbow of things that they they can do to people to make them part of the psyop. Um, you know, tricks. And um, so, anyway, the Clinton administration, Monica. I believe was um, put there, planted there by Carl Steiner. Linda Tripp worked for Carl Steiner, and Linda Tripp was under Nussbaum. I just also like the story of how you changed your whole strategy when you heard. Oh, it, the that, that, uh, that that there's a, the additional complexity here. And Linda Tripp was an operative. Her husband was an operative. She worked for Steiner down at the JFK um, Little Assassin School there at um, Fort Bragg. It's, you know, the elite group that was involved with um, naturally training uh, the Rangers and, the, you know, the parade boys, the French, um, the, the guys with the red hat. I don't know. You know, they have all these colors and they're mm-hmm. always switching mm-hmm. things around. But she she was an operative and had been, like so many of them, like North, caught with their hand in the till when they were a teenager and then told, well, we're going to protect you um, and not tell on you, but we're and make you famous. In other words, that was the thing that got them into the criminal world within the military. And Linda Tripp was a handler for Monica. Hi. How'd you know it was me? Same caller ID. Oh, what's it say? Linda Tripp. And Monica knew it, right? Of course, Monica had that psychological profile where she, you know, she was raised in in the culture in which she was raised. It's okay to have sex for Mm -hmm. girls to have sex. Go to bed. I hate him. No, you don't. You hate his behavior at times. But she was a dual a dual citizen as well, a dual loyalist. Yeah, anyway. dual. Yeah, she was was a Zionist, is or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, you know, if you've ever read and talked to the those folks, they think it's even in their their um, scriptural writings, it's okay to have sex with children. The Talmud provides generous loopholes for adultery. It says the penalty for adultery does not include sex with a minor, the wife of a minor or the wife of a heathen. The Talmud also encourages seduction of unwed adolescent girls called designated bondmaids. But it's important how such rapes are performed. With the designated bondmaid, one is guilty only in the case of natural connection, but not in the case of perverse connection. The Pharisees reason that rape in a perverted manner is outside the jurisdiction of the law. Normal rape, however, was punishable. You know, it's 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 not considered bad, but she had, you know, and she has no guilt about it. And um, so naturally, when you put a, a girl who's young, who's already had a history of, of this kind of behavior, in with the president, uh, they knew what was going to happen. All right, hold on. We'll pause and come right back with Kay Griggs. There are a lot of books out there, by the way, which underwrite, substantiate, validate all the things she's saying, and we'll talk about some of those as well. For those of you who are honestly skeptical and would like more proof, we'll offer some choices for you to pursue and other things as well. So hang on. We'll be right back with more after the top of the hour break. <laughs> 